Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pagey, here once again with another video on just DC TV and potentially the Arrowverse in general because some crazy stuff happened earlier today. I was going to leave this video until tomorrow, but I want to do a live stream before Crisis, so it's a bit of an unusual upload time and a bit later for me, but this had to be talked about and I couldn't leave it. I couldn't let it simmer. I had to talk about it as soon as possible. So yeah, by the time this video comes out, we will be roughly or most likely exactly 24 hours away from the commencement of the big and long-awaited Crisis on Infinite Earths crossover event. Uh, of course, that's starting on Supergirl. Maybe it could be 22 hours from now. I don't know when this video is coming out exactly. But while I'm sure we are extremely excited for the events of Crisis and, you know, what happens in, in the event itself, uh, one thing that many people, that including myself, have, I guess, in the back of their heads or maybe the front of their heads, somewhere like that, um, that's always knocking and saying hello hello is of course that of the fallout from crisis so like what happens afterwards and of course we know there will be focus of that uh, like in the shows post crisis so flash supergirl arrow i guess for its last two episodes and even legends will deal with the fallout from this and i left out batwoman because i'm 99 percent sure they are elsewhere in their timeline in regards to their first season i'm not too sure on that though but new shows and characters are something we are expecting to see from this fallout and potentially even in crisis. And throughout this video, we will be going over that and where we could be heading in the future of the Arrowverse in this uh, post-crisis uh, reality, if you want to call it. But of course, I am intrigued as hell. Sorry for using the, the old hell word, but I am very, very intrigued uh, to see what you guys think of this in the comments section down below, because I'm sure there will be some divisive opinions. Um, and then, you know, some are going to be really for it, some are going to be completely against it. Let me know in the comments section down below what you think. And of course, if you enjoy the video, why not drop a like on it to, uh, yeah, show your support and excitement. So to go through this uh, weird, but also, I guess, exciting series of events, we have to start a couple of months back. Uh, but, you know, we're, going, we're doing some time travel here. Uh, back to when Warner Brothers held the, uh, the HBO Max presentation, where they went over that new streaming service of theirs, which is called HBO Max, which will be launching in May next year or May 2020. And amongst this was the announcement of a Strange Adventures show, which would be like an anthology series, uh, as well as a Green Lantern show. Now, no release dates were given with this, I'm pretty sure, just that they were in active development and would be the first uh, HBO Max originals based off of the DC stuff. Obviously, Doom Patrol will be on HBO Max at launch, but that's a DC Universe original and will be shown on both of those streaming services. It's a bit confusing, but that's the, that's how it's going at the moment, for now. Uh, like at least for this release, if you want to call it. Now, a few weeks back, we got the news that Stargirl, the new show set to be exclusively available on the DC Universe streaming app, uh, it was one of their originals, which was actually meant to already have been out. It was meant to come out when uh, Titans Season 2 came out, but they swapped the release dates. So Titans wasn't meant to come out till next year, but they swapped the release dates, for, uh, I guess, to just decide what to do with Stargirl, and they've made up their mind. And that was that we got the news that Stargirl would also be airing on the CW the day after it becomes available on DC Universe. So say it comes out on a Monday on DC Universe, then on Tuesday evening, it'll be on the CW. And then you'll be able to watch it for free on the CW streaming app or the CW website just after that so it's going to cause a bit of a you know decision for people that have dc universe whether they stick with it for that period of time or they just end the subscription and just watch it on the cw i guess it's up for those that have it and along with this uh from business insider from memory was the website they revealed that stargirl would also be showing up uh on uh, crisis on infinite earths and this appearance i wouldn't be expecting until maybe the last two episodes if it is happening so if you don't see it this week don't lose too much hope of it happening um because apparently they're still organizing cameos and appearances for those last two episodes which is actually pretty insane to think but that brings us to earlier today, where an article from Wired, uh, I guess .com, came out, and this article wasn't specifically about new shows or characters necessarily coming into the Arrowverse. It was, for the most part, a Crisis on Infinite Earths like preview piece, just hyping up the event and interviewing some people, uh, just one of those type of, uh, types of articles. But partway through the article, which I will leave linked in the description if you want to read it and see that it, this exists, there was this section which I will read out right now. Clearly, super producer Greg Berlanti and writer Mark Guggenheim, teenagers at the time Crisis came out, cared about all this. 
Now, Arrowverse now occupies a significant number of hours on the CW's program grid, uh, pulling stories from all across DC space-time. And like our own universe, the wider Berlantiverse is expanding. Titans and Doom Patrol are on the streaming service DC Universe, based on DC Books, but confusingly outside of Arrowverse continuity. Next year, TV will add Arrowverse shows with Superman, Stargirl, Booster Gold, and Green Lantern. So yeah, that last sentence there, that last part, uh, wow, that's probably the best way to put it. So the Superman show is of course that of the Superman and Lois spinoff thing, which will film its pilot in March of next year and is really, from what we know, looking to be like a Super Sons type of show. But those other three shows are all apparently Arrowverse shows now. So Stargirl is apparently 100% in the Arrowverse, I guess pretty much confirming that Crisis appearance. And then we have Green Lantern in there as well, like how the hell can they afford that? And then Booster Gold, like what the hell's going on there? Since when there was a, since when was there a Booster Gold show in development? Wasn't it meant to be a movie? So it's interesting. And well, let's just go over all of that in detail. So essentially, what happened after this interview came out, there were a couple of um, people that can get like contact um, with certain people that might be able to confirm or deny these rumors. From what I've seen, there's about three that have confirmed this. So at least confirmed that this is, is definitely the direction that they're going in. I don't think they're necessarily concrete, like they're 100%, but there was big news that, um, Mark Guggenheim was teasing and he said that it was going to be coming. So I think he called it huge news actually to properly quote his tweet, which he was teasing that would come out in the next couple of days. Unfortunately, he was actually told by the higher ups that this information can't be revealed until January sometime. So we're going to have to wait until then. But it does seem that this is the the news that he was teasing. And that's why this wide.com article put that stuff in there. That's it, like pretty much why it was in there because Guggenheim was going to officially reveal this news. So the news would be that Stargirl, Green Lantern, those shows are going to be in the Arrowverse as well as Strange Adventures are going to be in the Arrowverse. Now you might be saying, well, didn't you just say a Booster Gold show? Well, that Strange Adventures show, the first season of that show will apparently focus on Booster Gold. So it's, he's going to be the focus of that first season. And that's why that article referred to it as a Booster Gold show rather than Strange Adventures. Now, as I said, Strange Adventures is like an anthology show, so I'm guessing each season is just going to focus on a different hero that maybe they wouldn't use as like the title character, so they can just give them a full season, and then maybe they can lead onto another show or whatever it might be. So that's, I guess, the 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 premise of the show. Anyway, so Stargirl will appear on DC Universe, and the others are on HBO Max, but Stargirl will be will be the only show to appear on the CW. Don't expect these HBO Max shows to be on the CW as well. So don't expect that. Um, I think with Stargirl, it's just a way to get more viewers in. Also, it fits that CW model a bit more. They did release a teaser trailer for it about, let you about an hour ago before I made this video. I'll leave that link in the description down below if you want to go check it out because I don't want to make this video too long. Um, but yeah, don't expect Strange Adventures or Green Lantern to be appearing on the CW. I think that's just a special thing they're doing with Stargirl. But due to this news, there was a load of freak out of people saying, no, this can't happen. Like, why would they do this with HBO Max shows? And I think the simple answer is is one simple connected universe. One thing I really hate is fragmentation or just everything being split up. Um, and I don't want, say, um, that's not me supporting, like, oh, I want the movies and TV connected. I would prefer them to be separate as well, just because Marvel tried to do that and they pretty much showed it doesn't really work. Um, it can be a bit topsy-turvy. They're changing it now, but they failed earlier on. So I'd rather DC not get into that, especially when we have to deal with network television, like the CW, where there can be some restrictions. Um, if it was all HBO Max, then maybe you could do that. But even then, I probably wouldn't be all for it anyway. Uh, but there's a lot of freak out over it. But as I said, I prefer the connected universe. And I've always said the Arrowverse is pretty much like a live action comic book. So if the HBO Max shows can embrace that as well, then I'm all for it. I know the shows like Titans, especially, which try to be a bit more somewhat realistic and gritty but it just, sometimes it just doesn't work and like i think dc is in the whole like god aspect of stuff and i think it just works better if you just embrace the comic book nature of everything and that's what the cw does and that's why they do it so well and what, that's why people love watching it so i'm excited to see what they do here like i think it's for the best and i think it's the best way to go about doing these characters and it might, you know, it, it's not going to affect the budget of the HBO Max shows. They're still going to have the HBO budget. It's just that they're going to be set in this same universe, which makes you think like, what happens with crossovers now? And like, I'm not expecting, you know, you know, like 
a like even bigger crossover than crisis but it makes you think like you know is could green lantern appear in a major way in like the next crossover whether it's next year or the year after that he's available like the first one he's available for um could that happen you know star girl constantly appearing like this this opens your mind to, to the future of the arrowverse it makes you go think like they've already done like eight years of like really well done stuff for the most part but it makes you think could it get even better now? Could they even get a bit more of a budget allowance, especially for crossovers when you have these bigger shows involved? Do they bring a bit more budget into it, which they should? So I love the news. Um, it's not 100% confirmed. That needs to be said, which you should have been able to get from this because it is, you know, sort of just, you know, he said, she said stuff. Um, but it looks like it's probably going to happen. It does seem like that was the big news that Guggenheim was teasing that he unfortunately had to back away from. And he was sort of told by higher ups not to tell it, which makes you think, okay, well, it's something pretty damn big that they didn't maybe didn't want to rush into saying at this moment because maybe they didn't have, you know, 100% of the details lined out um, for the announcement. So I can't wait to see what they do. Like the HBO Max shows are a while away. You know, the service itself doesn't launch for another, like, what, seven months or something. And then they haven't even given, like, a release date. There's, like, actual no development, like, castings or even, like, things to these shows yet. So they probably won't come out until end of next year at the earliest. Maybe around the time that the next seasons of uh, the Arrow show start. Maybe around then. Um, But, yeah, that's pretty much all to talk about. As I said, the relevant links will be in the description down below if you want to go check them out. But if you enjoyed the video, it would be awesome if you could drop a like on it to show your support. And, um, yeah, let me know all of your various opinions in the comment section down below. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.